production. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special on the road edition of the New Stack Demos. I'm your host, Heather Joslin of the New Stack, and today we're coming to you from the floor of QCon and Cloud Native Con North America here in Chicago. And uh, today's demo comes to us from Signadot. It's uh, their Kubernetes native preview and testing platform. And uh, we're going to be uh, seeing that, that presented to us by Arjun Iyer, who is the CEO and co-founder of Signadot. Hi, hi Arjun. Hi, uh, Heather. Very nice to be here. Glad, you, glad you're with us. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what Signadot does? Yeah, absolutely. So Signadot is a Kubernetes native platform that scales previews and testing for microservices-based applications. So using Signadot, um, developers can spin up preview environments for every pull request and be also able to collaborate with other developers by combining uh, preview environments. And I'd just like to mention that today's demo is sponsored by Signadot. And how about you take it away and show us what you're going to tell us Excited what you're going to show to. us. Yeah, happy to. Um, so I'm going to be showing a simple demo application um, mm -hmm. and a developer workflow where a developer can change uh, a few microservices in that application mm -hmm. and be able to generate preview environments on the fly uh, mm -hmm. for every pull request. Yeah. Okay. So on the uh, screen, uh, you see the front end of the application. Um, mm -hmm. And this represents a dispatch, a right dispatch application where uh, a dispatcher can actually uh, connect uh, requesters mm -hmm. uh, to actual drivers that are actually fulfilling that request, right share request. Um, and you can see that the UI is actually making calls to a bunch of backend microservices mm. uh, and getting a response back, which you see on the screen on, on the front end application. Mm. Um, the left, left hand of the screen shows you the architecture of the microservices application, where mm. you can see the front end application talk to a bunch of backend microservices and, and also databases that they are connected to. Mm. Um, so now what I want to show you is, um, you can see that uh, there are some latency issues. You can see uh, very high latencies of the request to one microservice. So mm -hmm. me as a developer, I want to fix that latency issue. So mm -hmm. I know that this is going to be a route service uh, bug fix. So I have a pull request with me uh, that I've created to fix the issue on the route service. Mm -hmm. And uh, Signadot is integrated with this uh, GitHub Actions uh, pipeline that mm -hmm. is associated with this pull request. And as soon as I, uh, the pull request is published, you see that uh, uh, preview environments get automatically generated. Mm -hmm. And uh, a URL is posted as a GitHub comment, which uh, links to the Signadot dashboard. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open up the dashboard now, which shows the preview environment that has been created now. And as you can see um, in the dashboard, you also have details about the dash or the preview environment we created, along with a preview URL to the front end of the application. Okay. So I'm going to load the front end of the application now. And so this is a unique preview URL that is associated with the front end of the application, but it contains the new version of the back end service mm -hmm. that I just modified in my pull request. Okay. So now if I exercise the application from the front end, you will see that uh, the latencies have improved uh, quite a bit uh, because this is actually going to the new version of the route service that was just created uh, using Signadot. Okay. So if you look at the diagram on the left, um, essentially what we have done is we have launched a new version of the route service in the same cluster. Mm -hmm. And this could be like a staging uh, cluster that you have. And this preview exercises the new version of the route service. And similarly, I can, you can have other developers working on other microservices in the same environment. Mm -hmm. For example, here I have another PR, which is completely independent, mm -hmm. which points, which has a change in the front end service. Mm -hmm. So if I open up this um, preview URL, um, again, I get the preview URL from the Signadot dashboard, uh, which I'm going to load now. And you can see that the, the colors of the buttons are different. So it's a new front end change that I access through this uh, different, pre completely independent preview URL. Okay. Right? And so this is the, the diagram on the left shows what I've just done is I 
I have deployed a new version of the front-end service mm. in the same cluster. Now is where it starts to get interesting, is I can actually combine the two different changes and create a third preview environment that's independent of from the, the previous two. So for example, if I, um, so Signadout allows you to create what is called as a route group, which is essentially a configuration that tells a developer how to combine multiple preview environments. Uh -huh. And here I've, you can see I've combined the previous two preview environments and I have a yet another uh, URL through which I can access the combined uh, preview. Okay. And here if I load up the combined preview, you can see that now not only I have the front end change, mm -hmm. but when I exercise the front end application, it, you also have the back end change. Oh, wow. Right? So that corresponds to this diagram that I've shown in the left, where you have a new version of the front end and a new version of the route service, and they are working together to create like almost a feature preview uh, of uh, the feature of a new feature of the application that spans multiple independent PRs. So I have a question. Um, the, uh, on the, the screen on the right with these uh, with the red bars, do the colors you the color different colors indicate it's a different preview? Correct. It's a different do, code change. Okay, different code change. Do they do the colors themselves like does red mean something in particular? Does no, this mean? was just for the demo. I just okay. I just yeah. want to show a visual change. <laughs> okay. So that's why I just okay. made it made the okay. made, made it visually striking. Okay. Yeah, and, and it is. It's a very it's a very clean um, user interface for, for, for sure. Um, so, so you've combined you combined the two, and then this is a preview environment. How do you then push that to make it live? Uh, so these are still being tested while they are in the PR stage. Okay. Right. So the developer is still actively testing the application, mm. and so that's the point: is that developers can spin this very, very quickly. Each preview environment spins up in seconds, uh -huh. uh, and they can iterate on code very rapidly before they merge. Okay. Right. So once they're satisfied with the testing, um, they can merge the code and it goes into the trunk branch, and then from there on, CI/CD process usually take over. And they can merge that from from GitHub or whatever. Yeah, that's the like regular merging for, process through GitHub they're, they're or whatever uh, source control. They're not merging tool, that yeah. through this tool. That's they, right. Okay. Yeah. This we are not uh, replacement for that. We are just uh, okay. uh, we integrate with a lot of uh, source control systems as mm -hmm. well as AI systems right. uh, to enable preview environments in an existing. Uh, pre-production cluster that the customer already has. For a developer, what would be the key advantages of using of using Signadot? Yeah, so there's two uh, main advantages. One is that this is the most cost-effective way to scale preview and test environments for microservices, right? So because every preview environment is only duplicating a few microservices that have changed. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's yeah. very scalable. You can have hundreds of microservices and still be able to offer preview environments at every PR level to the entire engineering organization. So that's mm -hmm. one uh, main benefit. Mm -hmm. The other benefit is developer experience. It's mm -hmm. so easy for developers to create preview environments very, very quickly. And so it's very fast. Um, and developers can actually collaborate with other developers mm -hmm. very, very easily using Signadot. And because you can combine previews from multiple PRs, mm -hmm. and you can test entire features end to end mm -hmm. before you merge. Yes. So it makes for a very smooth developer experience where developers are able to complete almost 90% of the testing before merging code. Thank you very much for showing us this today, Arjun. Uh, thank you for joining us. And this has been Arjun Iyer of, of Signadot. And uh, we thank you for joining us. We uh, also want to thank Signadot for sponsoring today's conversation. And uh, we'd like to thank all of you for joining us. This has been Heather Joslin uh, here on the floor, the noisy floor at uh, KubeCon, Cloud Native Con North America in Chicago. And uh, we'll see you next time. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all the major social media platforms. You can always find us at thenewstack.io. We hope to see you soon.